Welcome back to my channel. I have the lovely channel. <laughs> Take two. Okay, we've got to get shit done. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have the lovely bestie Ashley Vines here with me. And today we're going to do the best friend tag. Yep. So and a lot of the time with best friend tags. I think you meant to like copy another YouTuber's questions. Oh, okay, yeah. But we've made up, well, you've made up questions for me. Yeah. And I haven't seen them yet. Oh, no, you haven't. I haven't seen I'm them yet. I've got 5% so. battery, so it's oh, half. Okay, <laughs> we need to get going with this. Let's get started. So we'll just get straight into it. Kitten. Okay. Do I have any lipstick on my teeth? No, do I? No. It's a really good trick. What's my favourite colour? <laughs> Real blue. Okay, intense blue. I'll give it to you. Yeah, yeah you always wear that colour. I do always wear that colour. What were you thinking? I always say yellow because yellow is a happy colour. Oh my, you never ever <laughs> wear yellow, use yellow, anything. Fair call, fair call. Okay. Yep, a tick for that one. Um, what's the most annoying thing about me? Um, probably some silly questions. You no, know, it's kind of cute though. It's probably a few. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to think of what's the most annoying. There's lots. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, nothing's annoying because everything. You know, when you love someone, everything yeah, is like, like cute. cute. It's we're still in that honeymoon stage. <laughs> Four years later. <laughs> Four years later. It's so cute. Yeah, nothing annoys me. It's, okay. it's just cute. Yeah. Cute. Okay. Well, what's something I, cute? That's sometimes annoying. I feel like you. I'm not listening. Yeah. You, you're not present. Yeah. That's probably the most annoying. But I understand because I get like that when you're just in tune and I talk your ear off when yeah. I see you. I'm like, ah. Yeah. And you're like, I just need to work. Like, shush. How many tattoos do I have? Oh, three? Yeah. yeah. What, if you were to just describe my ideal man, mm -hmm. who, would, who would that be? How long do we have? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. That's very true. I don't even think she has a type. It's like one day it's like a chocolate basketballer with six packs and a man bun. And the next day it's it's the complete opposite. Hmm. Ideally, let's break it down. Tall, dark, handsome with like piercing, beautiful, bright eyes. Yep. Really nice hands. They can't be short, wrinkly, <laughs> dirty. And someone that makes you laugh. But most of it is looks at the moment. Yeah, yeah. We're working on the personality. <laughs> well played. And it has to be driven and stuff, but I mean, initially you're attracted to someone's looks, so yeah, that's it's, it. It's that's very it. important for you, yes. So anyone that looks like that out there? Yes. Basically a 10, what she's looking for. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, what is the craziest moment we've had together? Oh. Probably Vegas. Yeah, well, my hand. Yeah. 8 a.m. We're running around <laughs> Vegas, still from the night before, <laughs> getting hot chips and lollies. And well, you didn't eat. I did. The and then I was sick in the toilet because I ate them really quickly. Yeah. And I drank way too much that night. So yeah. I don't drink very often, but I did that night. Yeah. I was so proud of you that night. Yeah. That was like epic. Yeah. Bind Dog Bind. came out to play. Oh my god, Bind Dog was in <laughs> fine form. Yeah. What is my favorite food? Like to say cheap meal. Macaroni and cheese? Yeah. I feel like you go to that when you when you're like going hard with your health and fitness, that's like a meal that you'll mm, choose. Like the like, yeah. If we had a date day, like what would be our typical like go to things that we do together? Mm -hmm. We'd probably start it with a walk and some brekkie. Mm -hmm. Um we're definitely booking for a Thai massage. Mm -hmm. We love our Thai massages together. Yep. I would want to eat again. You probably wouldn't. No, you eat a lot. I do eat a lot. <laughs> After that, I'd probably want to eat again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we probably But to really chill, mm. just relaxing, because we always go, go, go. Mm. So a long time massage mm. and food. Yeah, we like Maybe to the beach. Just hang, yeah, just hang out yeah. together and sing in the car lots. Maybe watch some, yeah, sing in the car, watch we some series. We always sing in the car, watch we some do. series. Massage. <laughs> what song reminds you of us? Oh, futuristic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, remake of the Justin Bieber, Love Yourself. Yeah, it's so good. I love that But it's song. really F Yourself. And it's mm. we just jam it out in the car. Yep. It's, our, it's our song. Repeat. If I wasn't working for you and I wasn't here, what do you think I would be doing? Like, if I wasn't doing what I'm doing right now? Well, before I met you, you were just doing an office job that you hated. Mm -hmm. Hated. Mm -hmm. You're definitely passionate about dancing. But I feel like your confidence held you back. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think you'd be a dancer, but I feel like you'd maybe be a dance teacher. Mm -hmm. You'd be teaching other people your passion. Yeah. Mm. Teaching think... other people to believe in themselves. I feel like you would have liked to have been the dancer. Yeah. Mm. Yep. You got it. If we didn't meet in the challenge, mm. where would we meet, do you oh. think? If we were to cross paths, whereabouts would it be? I just don't think we would have met. Mm. I don't think we would have crossed paths. No, it's, it's like weird the to best think, thing hey. that's ever come. Not the best, the only thing, but one of the best things about me starting my business is that's where I met my yeah. best friends. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't it's feel like. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel like we would have crossed paths anywhere else. Nah. I wasn't oh, a partier. Oh, she's hot. I wasn't a partier. Mm. You kind of were a bit more. Mm. Same with Gritty. I just wasn't into that scene. No, really. But you know what's meant to be, I'm sure we would have crossed paths somehow because it's just meant to be. It is, isn't it? So cute. Thank <laughs> you. Cute. What else you got throwing up? Right, 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 right. What does it feel like working together? The best thing ever. Yeah. It's so good. A lot it's of people so say fun. like, oh, you should never work with your friends and family. But for us, it's like the opposite. Yeah. It's always been so good. Like, how long have you worked with me? It worked Four for me. Years, Four years, years now? Yeah. Three or four years. And Gretty's an extra year on top of, yeah. of you than that. So it's always been the best because one, you can trust them with anything. Two, we all are working on the same mission and the same goals. And three, it doesn't even feel like work because nah. we're together all the time. So yeah. I don't know. It's amazing. I can't imagine not working together. I know. It's weird. Yeah. Isn't it? it just works. Like it's just so easy. Even when I said to Sammy the other day, I was like, oh, one day you'll. You know, Breeze Bum will be going so well and you won't be working for me anymore. It'll be so sad. She was like, no, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you ain't getting rid of me that easy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hardest moment that we've been through together? Probably when you broke up with your ex-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. It was really hard to see you so upset. Mm -hmm. I was glad I was there for you because I felt like I was the right person to be there for mm -hmm. you because I had the strength. I was your backbone, I yeah. felt like. But... It was really hard to watch that process of mm. you going through that heartbreak. Yeah. But I felt like I'd watched it for a good year or two. Beforehand. Before the breakup actually happened. I felt like emotionally you had gone through those emotions and that was really hard because you weren't yeah. happy for a while in the relationship. Yeah. And then going through the breakup, it was like such a long process. I think going through that with you yeah. was really hard. Yeah. Yeah. You just never want to see your best friends in pain and sad. That's something we all have to go through. Yeah. Almost there, almost there. What's the worst, what's my worst trait? Uh, probably you're just really hard on yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't believe in yourself. Like, you don't see what we see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I find that really hard. Annoying. Yeah. yeah. Not annoying, just like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what's my best feature? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god, I've got well, crap, crap I would, on my foot. Well, I would normally say her skin, but she got like her first <gasps> pimple ever. And I was like, oh my god, you have a pimple, ha! Huh? Because <laughs> normally I'm the one with the pimple. Yeah, so I'm yeah. like, oh, what's this? Every time I get a pimple, away, she's like, oh, yes! <laughs> so her skin though, because she rarely ever gets pimples, but your eyes are always like really bright and like open and beautiful. <laughs> your bum, actually your bum. Bum, damn oh, it. Yeah, I want yeah. the booty. Mm. I can share growth. some booty I would with love you. some of that. Yep. Yes. Out of me and you, who has the mo most balls? Oh. Out of me and Greddy, I have the most balls. We agreed. But I, I don't know about me and you. Who would you say? I would say you. There you go. Chelsea's nodding her head as well. Yeah. I have the most balls out of all of us. Yeah, okay. I yeah. Got a bag of balls. Yeah, you got a bag of balls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should be claiming that. <laughs> what do I do that makes you laugh really hard? <laughs> the laugh that you've got uh -huh. going at the moment. <laughs> and last but not least, what's something that you wish you guys at home knew about me that I don't share or that they don't know? Maybe that you stole a beanie in Europe? <gasps> <laughs> don't tell me what they got stuff. It was my accident. <laughs> Accidentally stole a beanie. Yeah, I stole a necklace when I was like 15 and my stepdad made me go back to the shop, which probably is a good thing. Yeah. And hand it back over and I was grounded for so long. I just, everyone was doing it. So I just, you know when you're just young. All right, kids, beanie it is. It's coming out. Well, Don't be ashamed. The beanie's not coming out. Don't be ashamed. I'll get arrested. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. If you guys <laughs> enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to Sammy's channel and we have loads more content coming for you very, very soon. So let us know on Instagram. 
Instagram as well if yes. you enjoyed it because we enjoyed filming this for you. Yes. Mm -hmm.